Hey, we landed on the moon. We sailed around the world. Romeo met Juliet. Hey, it's hard to imagine that there are creatures out there who saw it all happen. Immortal animals. Well, almost. Glass sponges are weird little creatures that sit in one place for thousands of years. From their favorite spot under the sea, they witnessed the first Europeans crossing over to the Americas. They can live up to 15,000 years. And what's even cooler is that they can control their aging process, speed it up or slow it down. They have a glass-like exoskeleton for protection. Lobsters can grow back a limb if they lose it, and they're basically immortal. They produce an unlimited number of enzymes that keeps their DNA young forever. And they just keep on growing. That means they outgrow their own shells. They have to shed their exoskeleton every now and then and upgrade to a bigger one. The largest lobster ever caught was 44 pounds off the coast of Nova Scotia. Scientists think this large lobster was around 100 years old. It was around when Edison invented the phonograph. This next creature is a mix between a jellyfish and a tree branch. Each end of the hydra has a ringed foot, and it spends its days chilling by lakes and rivers. Its tentacles grab onto tasty snacks that swim past it. So, what's the secret to its immortality? That's something everyone wants to know. The hydra has the ability to renew its stem cells. Scientists have been trying to do that for years. They can actually slow down their aging process. Now, these little sea creatures are red sea urchins. They sit on seaweed in shallow waters and are immortal. Well, we haven't been studying them long enough to know for sure. But scientists say they only grow in size, not in age. What? Well, they sort of stay like little baby urchins, but grow in size. Adult, baby urchin, okay. These little babies can reach around 100 years old, even 200. The slowest on the list? The giant tortoise. It can reach 200 years old. And one of the oldest is Jonathan. He's technically the oldest crawling land animal. He was born in 1832 and lives it up on a remote island called St. Helena. Jonathan's been through a lot. He's seen the very first American skyscraper, the Eiffel Tower. Oh yeah, he's also lived through every single World Series, starting when he was 71 years old. Now, he can't see too well, and he's lost his sense of smell. But he's still going strong. Back to the oceans and the Greenland shark. It's been known to be the longest living vertebrate and can live more than 400 years. Swimming around for that long in the deep, dark, cold ocean means these sharks are tough. They're able to withstand insane water pressure. Sharks are one of the only creatures today that haven't been affected too much by evolution. Many sharks have been around since the dinosaurs and haven't changed much. Scientists found out that they grow around a half an inch per year. So, with a little bit of quick math, they can easily find out the age of these tough sharks. Imagine seeing a shark that's older than the USA. This next creature is probably the most durable, indestructible, and cutest on the list. It's called a tardigrade, but scientists nickname it water bear because I guess it looks like one. But it's not exactly bear size. It has eight legs and hands with a strange little nose. And these bizarre microscopic creatures are indestructible. They're known to live in the most extreme places on the planet. They're fine with temperatures as high as 300 and as low as minus 330. Volcanoes, frozen desert nights, they can even handle radiation and massive amounts of pressure in the deepest parts of the ocean. They can even survive the vacuum in space. No tiny little spacesuit or anything. Yeah, that would be cute enough. So far, they've survived 10 days on the outside of a spaceship, but they could probably do longer. Tardigrades might be able to outlive humans if there's some sort of worldwide catastrophe. Microscopic organisms in charge of the planet. Hmm, wonder what that would look like. Whether it's all the volcanoes erupting at once, or another ice age, or even another pesky asteroid. Tardigrades probably wouldn't even notice. Scientists are studying them to see if they can help us with some next-level biotech. Now, just for fun, here's the mayfly. 
This poor little insect doesn't even make it past 24 hours on average. Females and males can make it to a whopping two days old. Talk about living in the moment. These little flies grow in swarms and are known to have one of the shortest lifespans of any creature. But as a species? Well, they've been around for hundreds of millions of years. Jellyfish have discovered the fountain of youth, and surprise, surprise, it's been inside them all along. Not inspirational poster style, but literally, it's always been inside them. Jellyfish are able to reverse their aging process whenever they want. Imagine you're swimming along and then you think to yourself, gee, I kind of want to be 8 again. And poof, there you are. Who wouldn't want to go back to being 8? That's how jellyfish stay young and live stress-free. These brainless and boneless creatures can turn the clock back anytime they want, as long as no one bothers them. They're super chill, just floating in whatever direction the current takes them. Like, uh, go with the flow? This creature looks like something right out of a sci-fi movie, and you could say it has sort of alien features. The giant Weta outweighs a mouse and is considered one of the biggest insects out there. You find these big bugs in New Zealand. While jellyfish can reverse their aging process, some members of the Weta family can come back to life. Talk about superpowers! If they get completely frozen, they start to make special proteins that stop their organs from getting ruined. After whatever amount of time they're frozen, they can be thawed out and brought back to life, like nothing ever happened. In fact, the giant Weta has ears on its knees in its front legs. And because it can resurrect, it's also called the zombie bug. Planaria are flatworms that are unique. Apart from being practically immortal, they're the ultimate regeneration machines for lost body parts. If you take one of them and divide its body into 10 parts, you'll end up with 10 new planaria. You keep dividing them up, they'll keep multiplying, even though they're usually less than an inch long. Imagine if we could figure out how to do that. Would that be a way for us to live forever? Or would we end up with a totally crazy world with copies of everyone walking around? How about the world's fastest relay team? Four identical Usain Bolts. Now, clams have been around for a really long time. Scientists have discovered that they can live up to 400 years old. These little shelled creatures are the ones that create those shiny little pearls everyone loves. A clam will go into action mode when a parasite gets inside. The clam tries to cover the parasite with a bunch of special chemicals, the same ones it uses to make the inside of its shell. That's when the magic starts to happen. When these chemicals harden up, they make a shiny, glossy pearl. The more chemicals, the bigger the pearl. Now, this long, slippery-looking creature lives deep in the caves of Europe. Ohm can live up to be 100 years old. It spends its days hunting for little insects, snails, and crabs with its tiny front arms and wriggling, snake-like body. Its skin is so pale that some locals even call it the human fish. Hey, wait a minute! The ohm is almost blind, but it can still detect light. It just mostly does it through its skin. Like other blind animals, it has a supercharged sense of hearing and smell. It gets its distinct look from those little red gills around its neck. You know, scorpions are interesting little Ouch. creatures. Six legs, two claws, and a powerful stinger. Now, what if humans also wore exoskeletons to protect themselves? So an exoskeleton is mainly made up of chitin, which is a complex material found in insects and reptiles. Thanks to their exoskeletons, these tiny creatures can defend themselves and perform acts of superhuman strength. If you were a scorpion exoskeleton, you'd be able to climb up any building you wanted. With massive claws in the front, it would be easy to grab hold of things and even cut through them. Might be hard to open a bag of chips, though. But at night, you'd have problems – UV rays. They wouldn't hurt you or cut through you or anything, but you'd definitely glow in the dark. Not exactly ideal for sneaking up on someone. A scorpion's tail is venomous and packs a nasty sting. You could use it to sting anyone in your way. Plus, it's long enough that you could defend yourself from a safe distance. Scorpions live all over the world in some of the harshest environments, from freezing icy landscapes to scorching hot deserts. If it freezes, a scorpion can even thaw itself out under the sun. 
This next creature also has two claws and six legs, but it doesn't have a stinger. It's the mighty crab. Its shell is a lot more powerful than a scorpion's, and it's surprisingly quick. So you'd be seriously powerful in one of those. The downside is you'd only be able to walk sideways. And you'd be delicious to someone like me. There are almost 5,000 species of crab all over the world, each with special skills. In a crab costume, you'd definitely be a master digger. Sure, you'd be doing it sideways, but those legs and claws can get the job done. If there were crab-inspired bodysuits, they'd most likely be made for digging. You could even work underwater. You'd be agile, strong, and you'd look awesome. Humans in ant suits would dominate any construction site. Ants live in colonies around most of the world and rely on strength and numbers. But that doesn't mean each little ant's weak or anything, just the opposite. There are actually already exoskeleton suits out there to help humans do some heavy lifting. But to use the actual strength of an ant would be a game changer. An ant can lift around a thousand times its own weight. In a group, they can drag a bird across a field without breaking a sweat. What's even crazier is that they can carry things while they're climbing straight up a wall, or even upside down. Wow! Imagine a group of humans dragging a jet fighter up the side of the Empire State Building. There wouldn't be any need for bulldozers or cranes anymore. Just strap into an ant suit and get her done. Buildings could be inspired by those huge underground ant colonies. Ants are amazing at making tunnels. Imagine wearing a bodysuit that flies through the air like a stealth craft. If you wore a hornet suit, you'd have it made. They have a tough exoskeleton that's surprisingly light and easy to maneuver. Picture a fleet of strong flying acrobats. Oh, and don't forget the stinger. Most people think of hornets as pests, but they're not. They do a lot of good for the ecosystem, like eating up those pesky mosquitoes. Having a hornet suit would be essential for any kind of undercover work, not so much for office work. A strong aerodynamic bodysuit with a powerful stinger? Hey, sign me up! An armadillo uses keratin to make its bodysuit. You know, the stuff your hair and nails are made of? What makes it unique is that it's foldable and durable at the same time. It's made up of hexagon-shaped plates that go all over its back. When there's danger around, it can roll up into a ball. Scientists are studying how to make durable bending glass just like the armadillo's body plates. Humans wouldn't be 100% protected with this thing on, but they'd be able to withstand pretty much anything. You could jump out of a plane, no parachute, land on a rooftop, brush it off, roll off the edge, and land safely on a nearby car. All while being chased by tricked-out cars and helicopters. Nah, I've been streaming too many movies. Being one of the slowest animals on Earth does come with an advantage. You got a heavy shell on you 24-7 for protection. Just like armadillos, tortoise shells are made of keratin. What's sweet about its shell is that it grows with the tortoise. Crabs and other shelled animals have to keep replacing theirs as they outgrow them. Humans would be almost invincible if they wore tortoise suits, but they'd be insanely slow and draw a lot of attention. Still, if something goes down, you could just hide in your shell and wait it out. Hopping around from place to place would be pretty sweet, but what about flying? Grasshoppers can do both. They have a set of wings they tuck in behind them, which they unleash after their epic takeoff jump. Oh, and they come in all shapes and sizes, great for camouflage. Now, a grasshopper can jump around 10 inches high and 3 feet long. Uh, far? Uh, out? Well, that far. Anyway, it's all thanks to its back legs. Grasshoppers basically catapult themselves when they feel threatened or when they see something delicious. If you had a grasshopper suit, you'd be able to jump a whole football field in one go. You can forget about being stuck in traffic. It might not be the most powerful armor, but with those jumping skills and landing skills, getting your weekend shopping done would be a breeze. Or you could be the world's coolest pizza delivery person. Just imagine the tips! The biggest animal on this list doesn't really have an exoskeleton, but it does have a thick, thick skin. This massive beast's one of the most powerful mammals on Earth, and it comes with a strong horn near its nose for protection. Any guesses? Now, it might look scary, but that humongous rhino's an herbivore. It's not going to eat you. But rhinos do attack when they feel provoked, so keep your distance. Their thick skin makes them look like a tank, 
and it keeps them nice and warm. Now, with your rhino suit on, you'd have a monster advantage over the average human. The thick skin suit would be really useful for extreme weather conditions, cold or hot. And a horn on the top of your head would send a pretty powerful message. And it's not just beep beep. Jaws that look like antlers? Six legs? Meet the stag beetle. Its oversized jaws are used for impressing its friends and sometimes for a little wrestling. But don't worry, these fearsome jaws aren't strong enough to hurt you. A human stag beetle suit would be pretty weird if you saw one walking down the street. But who knows what people will be into in 10, 20 years? Maybe this will be the future of wrestling. Now this reptile has the toughest skin of its kind. Crocodiles are fearsome animals, virtually unchanged since the days of the dinosaurs. Our modern-day croc is still top of the food chain, with scales on its back and a very soft underbelly. Its scales are made from some of the most durable materials out there. And don't forget that powerful jaw! It can crush watermelons like chewing gum. A human croc suit would be fast, strong, but mostly limited to hanging around lakes and rivers. It'd be a great thing to be wearing during a game of hide-and-seek, though. You're it! This last creature takes the grand prize, toughest exoskeleton ever. It's smaller than a rhino for sure, presenting the ironclad beetle. Even the name makes people's knees weak. This beetle has interlocking wing covers that make it twice as strong as it should be. But get this, it doesn't even fly. Yeah, it doesn't need to escape from danger. Whatever you throw at it, it can't be hurt, dented, or even crushed. Not even by a car! These beetles can live up to two years, way longer than other beetles who only stick around for a couple of weeks or months. A human suit based on the ironclad beetle? Wow! That name gets me every time. It'd probably be resistant to just about any collision. Walking through moving traffic would be like strolling in the park on a warm afternoon. This suit would be perfect for deep-sea exploration since it's resistant to pressure. That'd make it excellent for outer space adventures, too!